Uh, good morning. We appreciate everybody being here today for a very, very special announcement. Uh, members of the press, you should have in uh, a packet uh, from, uh, from me that has our press release on there. So that should help you uh, in this. Kenny High, Kenny, High, Kenny, Kenny High School baseball team will have a facility for the 2019 baseball season after all. Thanks to a very generous donation that was received by the baseball team, Kenny County High School and Kenny County Schools. Here today at this press conference, my name is William Freddie Curtis, the Director of Schools, and we'll introduce everybody as we go along. This is Coach Colin Jones and Mr. Justin Davis, our Athletic Director for Kenny County High School, Mr. Matt Cagle, and Principal of Kenny County High School, Courtney Nichols. So, it is my esteemed honor and privilege to announce that Mr. Justin Davis of Woodbury, Tennessee, has literally, quote, stepped up to the plate and hit the baseball, I believe, quote, out of the park. Mr. Davis donated $40,000 to the Cannon County High School baseball team this morning to ensure that the dream of the baseball facility will be fulfilled in the 2019 baseball season. Can somebody give a round of applause for that? He stepped up when the local county government would not and other potential donors backed out. And I, th I think it's like, very like a baseball game. The whole process here since we started in August and that was with complete with strikeouts, foul balls, to have a walk off home run at the bottom of the ninth inning. And I really appreciate, sincerely appreciate Mr. Davis's generous donation that has been facilitated by Mr. Tim Spry and Ms. Jenny Melton of the First National Bank of Woodbury. So uh, I'm not going to go the, the, the lengthy bio that I have here. I'm going to let Justin talk for himself uh, <laughs> and, and, and do that. Uh, but D Justin has lived in Cannon County most of his life. He played baseball uh, on, on that field. Yeah. And, uh, and it was, uh, had also played uh, football there. Uh, I see Mr. Daddy, Coach Daniel here and our other coaches here and appreciate their support of our baseball team. So, uh, just I'm going to turn it over to you, and, and, and there's, you can see his quotes on there, too, and if we need to read those, we can. But uh, we really appreciate him stepping up to the plate. Justin. Uh, thank you, Freddie. Um, as he said, uh, I had been contacted by uh, Corey uh, about the situation and thought it was a good chance to maybe do something for the team and uh, was able to get a hold of Colin, and he let me know that basically everything was ready other than the money. And then uh, I got a hold of you, and you were in the same position that we just needed the funding, and it was a good time. Now it was, was better indeed. than later. So I just decided to go ahead and do it. Uh, if you wait too long, just like anything in life, it'll never get done. So, uh, and I hope this is, I think this is going to be good for the team and for the program, and I think it'll make it grow, and that's what we need. So. I'm going to start with, uh, with Mr. Cagle. I'm going to leave Coach Jones uh, to the, for the last. Uh, I know he's going to talk a lot there. Uh, but uh, Coach, uh, Athletic Director Cagle, uh, what do you think about what's, what's been done today? I think it's great. It all goes back to the kids. It's, it's an opportunity for them to help them, to you know, keep them competitive because you know, there's a, everybody that is close to us in our district and the surrounding counties have this. And we want the, this for the kids, for help them to be competitive, to help them with, with any opportunity that they have, and for somebody like this to step up and to uh, put this forth for the kids. It means a lot. It means a lot to me. I know it means a lot to, to Colin. But I'm just excited. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited for the kids and see what they can do with it. They, they've needed a facility like this for a long time. And, you know, for somebody like this to, uh, be selfless and to see a need and to step up like you said is is great and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens. All right, thank you Mr. Cagle. Um, Principal Nichols, uh, can you give us some comments this morning regarding this donation? I just want to say on behalf of Kenny County High School and uh, the student athletes, uh, we want to say Justin thank you very much for uh, you're what you're doing for our program. 
uh, I feel like we're headed in the right direction. And like, to reiterate what Coach Cagle said, um, I feel like this is going to provide an opportunity for our students to um, go to that next level. And we just want to say thank you. Yes. Many others have also contributed to, to this endeavor, and I call it that because that's what it was, including many private donors. Uh, the Cannon County Board of Education uh, voted at the 2018 school board meeting to give $14,400 for the concrete work for the, for the facility from the school capital outlay fund. Uh, we have a school board member with us uh, today. Mr. Javen Fan is here with us, and we appreciate uh, his getting involved in that and pushing that through the, uh, through the board. Uh, the Cannon County Commission uh, voted later in the month to lease the baseball facility uh, field area, and that, uh, uh, that is at the, certainly the, uh, the county sports complex to the Board of Education. We're appreciative to all who've been involved in the process, and specifically the Cannon County Board of Education, uh, Principal Courtney Nichols, the Athletic Director, Mr. Cagle, uh, and, and in particular, Coach Colin Jones, and, and Colin has been on this thing from, from day one. I think he's lived it, breathed it, dreamed it, and, and his players are standing back there. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, in, in some ways, I don't think the camera should be up here, even though it's a fantastic backdrop, Mr. Cagle. But I, I, I think the camera's on those guys mm -hmm. who are standing behind the camera right now, this baseball team. And after we had had a defeat at the county commission, I kind of took the players and the parents afterwards, and I said, it's not over. And, uh, and, and, it's, and it's not. And we're appreciative, certainly, of, of, of Justin to coming up to the plate and, and knocking it. So, uh, Coach Jones, thank you for your diligent work. And I mean diligence. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been, been nonstop. And it's not over. You got your confr construction phase to begin now. So, and try to get that done before, before the first ball game. So, go ahead, uh, Coach Jones. Well, like Mr. Curtis said, we started this, I guess it was during the last season. I talked to a couple of the guys. We asked what the major improvements was that everybody would like to see on the field. We had bullpens, fences, stuff like that. It was just kind of a dream of having a building somewhere. It's my fourth year. We've been changing in parking lots, trucks, dugouts. We don't have restrooms to use sometimes. So now we finally got somewhere where our seniors don't have to drive a freshman to the bathroom halfway through practice. So we can finally just say, hey, go ahead. We'll have somewhere we can warm up. It's something we've been working on since about March last year. So it's finally coming true, I guess you could say. Well, that's good. Yeah. Absolutely. We uh, About the last commissioner's meeting, we actually, somebody asked me, they said, is it over? And I said, it's about over. So we didn't know some things happened for a reason. Thankful to Mr. Davenport over here for helping us out, bringing us a little extra hope. And so now we're here. We're ready. Now, uh, upon the construction, the facility will be named the Davis CCHS Baseball Fieldhouse Facility. And that's in honor, certainly, of, of Justin and for the use of the Kennedy County High School Baseball and the Middle School Baseball teams. Uh, in fact, Colin, you want to tell him or you, do I tell him about the first pitch? You got it. Okay. Uh, Justin will be throwing out the first pitch <laughs> of the 2019 baseball Skip season yeah. during our first yeah. uh, home ball on game on, <laughs> on March the 11th. So better be starting to practice there, Justin. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, that will take place on March the 11th, uh, 2019, 5 o'clock versus Cascade. And his jersey, number 44, will be retired in his honor also at that ball game. So uh, that was yeah. not Freddie Curtis's idea. That was Mr. Colin Jones's idea uh, to do all that. So, and I, I think Justin is going to be uh, assisting coaching when he's available. He's a local businessman, and we know his time is very valuable, but I think he's offered uh, to help uh, our baseball team too. And, you know, before I have questions from the press or the audience, let me say to our baseball team who's assembled that, guys, I, I've been around this deal a long time, 33 years, many of you I've had in class. And when I told you what I told you the other day, the other day at the, uh, the commi after the commission meeting, I, I meant what I said, and I'm proud of each one of you. And not only do we desire to prepare you for the future, this facility 
will help prepare you for your future in baseball. But also, we have the E3, which is our vision of Cannon County Schools, is to be engaged in excellence every day. Well, I think this facility that you're going to be using will help you become better to make us competitive, and we are competitive, but to be even more competitive because now we will not be the only, only high school baseball team not to have a facility in our district. That will level the playing field, and that will make us better. And so I know you guys are going to use it and use it hard. And uh, I appreciate every one of these fine student athletes uh, that we have. So anybody else on the panel before we have questions? Let me go ahead and get this yep, to you yep. before we forget. Uh, well, not, we won't forget that. I don't think Colin will 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 forget that. So, Jones, there you go. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, at this time, we'll entertain uh, questions from the press. Uh, Tom, you're usually the traditional one to go first at these things, so. Um, first of all, where will the building be constructed? And kind of give us an outlay of what, what your plans are, Coach, for the building. So we currently have batting cages beside our fence by the dugout. So we're hoping to tear those out completely and then to put the building right there so that it's easily accessible to the field and to the parking lot for the players. We'll have side doors, garage doors to keep the mower in because our school board, Mr. Uh, Bruce Daniel, bought us a new lawnmower last year. So that was a big plus. So we'll have somewhere to store it as well. We'll be able to help out the football team with a storage building now because we have a eight by 10 storage building right now that is all we have for our equipment. And then uh, we'll have two cages, a uh, mound inside, and then a locker room area for the kids to change into, so. Estimated time on construction. As soon as I get out of this meeting, then I get to call <laughs> some people, so. <laughs> Hoping to get it built before the baseball season begins? Correct. We'll see how Mother Nature is. November was supposed to be the driest month of the year, and it was definitely the wettest. So. Well, we had some warm days so far this year. We have, and mm -hmm. I guess it works out right, so we wouldn't have been able to start in November anyway, so here we go. Outside of the donations that you already have had and the help that you had, are you looking for more help to help the We can always use more help because <laughs> inside, we've got the building now. I mean, we can put nets in, we can put carpet in, turf in, however it may be. We'll have pitching mounds, whatever it may be. I mean, donations for a low-income county, I mean, it is what it is. And our team, we have to pay for everything, we have to work for everything we got. So, of course, we're always looking for help. But we've got to start. We're here. We've got a building. That's where our main focus is today. So. And one thing, too, I'd like to say is that thanks for the parents, too. Well, your baseball parent, baseball yes. parents have been out there, and and other others have supported too. Other teams have supported of our athletic teams here in Cannon County High School have helped, and and you know we have multiple student athletes on on that play other sports too, and and it's everybody working together, and and, and I appreciate the 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 whole thing with that, that parents and and, and students have all we're all working as a team. And I, I want to I say I really appreciate that too, particularly with our parents and, and, and boosters that have, that have assisted this effort. And that's where we see the cooperation. Colin's saying, okay, we need a place to store our mower at the football field. Well, now this will enable that, help Coach Daniel also there, at keeping, keeping it in the dry, and then having it during the baseball season over there on the baseball field. So uh, we're appreciative of everybody in the community working together. And, that, and that's what it's going to take uh, in our school system. Any Mr. Davis, I guess I want to get a little more in depth about your <coughs> desire to help Cannon County baseball, what this program means to you, this school, this community all together, and just go a little bit deeper into that as <clears throat> it sort of sparked you into doing this to help this program. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I've been playing, since I started playing t-ball when I was five, I've played ball, and we moved here in 88, uh, started playing Dixie Youth, and went to Babe Ruth, and when we played Babe Ruth, I was in that field. And that field was a sandbox. It was just, it was what it was. I don't, know how, I don't know how old it was when I was playing there. But that was 30 years ago. So, but you could slowly see it over the years that they would get coaches in and they would bring people in and they would try to, it was getting better. It was being improved. And over the last few years, it really, really has just looked incredible. And 
once I found out that they were needing some more money. Uh, like I said, we had just, our business had been growing and through the Cannon County IDB, we were able to uh, get another building, which allowed us to have more business, which obviously raised revenue. And then when we found out that uh, that it didn't go through with the uh, budget, I guess, approval for the $40,000, uh, I got a hold of Corey and he let me know what was going on and talked to Colin, talked to Freddie, and of course then talked to First National Bank, Tim Spry, Janine Melton, very helpful uh, in helping this uh, come to fruition, I guess. But uh, when I played, we always competed because we had guys that played baseball. I mean, we didn't really have a football program for the young people. and. My mouth dribbles better than my hand, so I didn't play basketball. <laughs> so uh, a lot of the guys, we because we, we had always been playing since we were younger, we could compete. But if it was raining, you couldn't do anything. And if it was in the off season, I mean, there was just there was nowhere to go. This this will allow players to not lose that, I guess, that repetitiveness that what baseball is. I mean, that's all it is. And if you can keep that, if you can keep that muscle memory. You get up to bat, you have a whole lot more confidence. Mm -hmm. If you're on the mound, it's a whole lot more confidence. That's all it is, as long as you believe in yourself. So I believe this building will do that. Mm -hmm. When you put this plan together, Colin, about the baseball facility and you got everything in place, the batting cages, the pitching mound, things on that nature, did you seek the input of the students of your baseball team to kind of give you some things that they would like to see in this, or did you pattern it after any other field houses that you've been involved with? We had a couple conversations with a couple of the older guys, a couple of the younger guys. It went back to when we first started about the improvements. They wanted bullpens, they wanted cages, they wanted some of the fences redone. It kind of, it's everything put into one. There's somewhere that we can go. If it's raining outside, we've not been able to practice. I mean, so we, we could miss a week of practice before a game and then we kind of all put it into one, was able to fit it in. Smithville, DeKalb County, they had a good floor plan. Macon County had a good plan. And Moore County had a good plan that we liked. So we've kind of touched on them all, kind of hit or miss. It still may change some, depending on the layout with the water and the plumbing and everything like that. But besides that, that's about how we came to playing with everything. So I've actually already changed the plan since two days ago actually so it may change a little and it's it's still two batting cages and two batting pitch. cages in the middle yes and then a restroom and a locker correct okay i got you and there should be one more room for storage for extras and everything like that and over the locker room going back to the layout cascade actually gave us this idea they shut off the locker room height like the root the walls will be 14 foot but they shut it off at like eight foot and then over top we'll have more storage yeah for stuff for the season for the next season and everything like that that yeah. is not needed. Okay, any additional questions? If not, I'd like to thank our, everybody coming. Our, our uh, Corey Davenport's here, Gadsden County Commissioner, uh, Tim Spry, parents, uh, pre members of the press, uh, Mr. David Fan, our well, school board member. All of you, we appreciate you, you working. The work's really just starting now with the construction phase of the project. And uh, I'm, I, as the director of schools, I'd just like to say thank you. And, and again, uh, I'm looking forward to March 11th. I might, hopefully I'll be invited to be in the press box. I don't know, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. But uh, I thank you so much for coming today.